Hello everyone, I'm Clown Nebula, welcome to a new indie Creepy, not so creepy horror game, oh shit it's fucking creepy Oh my god Okay, okay yeah, take a picture and uh, start this game because <laughs> Her eyes are freaking me out <laughs> Okay Just out on Steam Should be uh, like a uh, game is Kinda like Frankenstein, as you can already see. Trying to awaken uh, a woman, I suppose. Bella donna. Oh sh. of anything before this point in time. My mind is tabula rasa, yet I have a language. I seem to be in some laboratory of sorts. Maybe I can find out what happened if I look around. Okay, yes, uh, you have a nice figure, lady. And you're very creepy with all this stuff uh, inserted in your head. But okay. You're not the avatar, I suppose. And you have also a nice uh, Iron Maiden. The torture device turned into a strange machine. Hmm. What kind of place is this? A place where probably the you know they this is a set for uh, sci-fi bondage porns, I guess. Okay, let's see the journal There's page. A handwritten note here. Maybe it can shed some light on my situation. Perhaps. Oh, that's so long. It is uh, with shaking hands and heavy heartbeats I gather before me the instruments of my last uh, desperate attempt. I find myself on the threshold of my toils, a turning point. For I, I should fail tonight, I doubt uh, I shall find the strength uh, and resolve to continue. At my feet now lays the lifeless remains of my beautiful bella donna. A few hours ago my wife was alive and well and now she has been cut open, dissected, altered and artificially reconstructed. From the second uh, she gave uh, up uh, her final breath, I uh, have worked uh, tirelessly to preserve and prepare her corp corpus, okay, that's her body, that I might infuse a spark of being back into the, her lifeless limbs. This is the final test of my, all my research and experimentation the past five years, uh, the complete uh, revivific reviv yeah. Yeah. revivification of a human being, uh, body and soul. The anxiety I feel is agonizing, but I cannot lo let it hinder me from carrying out uh, what I must do. For my own sake and for hers, uh, this procedure must not fail. In my feverish dreams, my wife appears as such a lovely creature, so far removed from this creation before me. I her cheeks, uh, once so full of laughter, are now pale almost to the point of transparency, with the skin stretched so thin over the cranium it threatens uh, to rip at any moment. Uh, her eyes would shine like uh, the night sky, but now are, are now empty, watery and yellowish. I have to cling to my conviction that she will regain her former grace and vitality once she is brought back to the realm of the living. Her eyes will light up with the flame of life, a Promethean life stolen from the very gods. From this night on, man shall be the master. Uh, from the night on, man shall be the master of his own destiny and God shall no longer be above us. As I write, the engines of life are finally heating up. Ah, I say, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm very expert in grammar times. As I write, the engines... Uh, as I write, the engines of life are finally heating up, the last of the preparations coming into order. The crucial moment is ever approaching, the time has come. Success, the attempt was a success. She's alive. And that's it. He didn't survive the shock. And she didn't say anything. Okay, so apparently she was the, wi the wife of this mad scientist. Who's also a um, porn um, director, I suppose. Also, funny thing, Belladonna is uh, in Italian translated like a beautiful woman. It's also uh, like... Um, an herb that is uh, poisonous, uh, but 
but uh, in uh, small quantities uh, also I um, a medicine I suppose and um, okay so brain in a jar it's a brain in a jar I wonder what it's thinking there's whiskey in the jar <laughs> probably <laughs> helps us <laughs> there's whiskey in the jar with him okay uh, and she for her she's perfectly no normal Okay, gargoyle. That is one ugly gargoyle. Looks like a George to me. Yeah, he has a face of a George, I suppose. Oh, there's a switch also. Maybe in a toolbox. Okay, maybe I should check the room more carefully. Now is not the time. Oh yeah, you're not on it. There's a screwdriver in this toolbox. Better take it. Yeah, ceiling is the. First rule of point and click games. Seal whatever you can. Books. A lot of natural philosophy and chemistry. Something by an M.W. Shelley. Nice reference you got there. Not the Frankenstein monster. But at least uh, she's alive and not uh, uh, dangerous. Oh, bone saw. Ooh, surgical tools. Shiny. <laughs> yeah, better take it with me. <laughs> okay. A uh, galvanic experiment. It looks like the legs of a frog hooked up with wires. And I'm pretty sure it moves when I'm not watching. Okay. Uh, at least she... A uh, skull. A human skull or a paperweight. Um... Yeah, it's a paperweight. Yeah. This oil looks expensive. Let's waste it. Yes. I agree with that. Okay. I guess we're done. Yeah, hi George, I guess we're leaving if we can. The door won't budge. It seems to be barred from the other side. I might hmm. be able to unscrew these hinges though. And here we are. With the screwdriver. The screws on these hinges are rusty and stuck. I need some lubricant to loosen them up. Hmm. Good thing I have uh, this file of oil. Oil on the rusty screws. That should loosen them up. Yep. Screwdriver and here we go. Yay! Well, you're not free, you're alive. In death, we are free. Or maybe not. What a dedicated night to guard a damp dungeon like this. Hmm? Maybe he was demoted. Maybe he likes the dark. Maybe he's secretly a poet. I bet his name is Roland. <laughs> I know oh, she's naming all different objects. Another around. piece of paper. Yeah. This was written long before the last one. Oh my god, so long. Okay, I'll, I'll read you through, guys, and uh, I will do a summary of that. Okay, so... The short version says that uh, this guy and uh, Belladonna had a child, Lucas, and uh, the baby died. And so she was... Uh, uh, you know, she didn't want... Kind of want to live anymore. She was, weren't doing anything. Uh, she was uh, just... Um, depressed and all and he tried to um, kind of um, starting to study life and death science and so he, he was trying to um, keeping a rat alive and so I suppose uh, he was trying to you know to bring back to life his child I don't know if it's uh, better for him or for its for his wife because uh, he also long stick here Perhaps it was used to try to chase away rats when trying to sleep. Yeah, uh, probably. And so, um, because he was uh, feeling very, um, was very fe feeling uncomfortable with his wife, uh, that he had no more uh, attention for him or for her herself. It looks like someone has been sleeping quite a lot in this sorry excuse for a bed, and it was hardly the suit of armor, but. Why would someone choose to sleep down here? Well, to be near you, lady, I guess. Your husband. And, um... And so he started to do these experiments. More writings from the lonely doctor. That is your wi your husband. You <laughs> didn't figure it out yet. Okay, another very long message. See you in a bit. Okay, so... Um... 
doing giving you the short version he's going crazy working on these experiments and uh, thinks that uh, his wife is cheating on him and he's getting mad about that I guess and we also um, there's also a note in which he says that uh, there, there should be like a servant a girl who cleaned the castle but uh, he doesn't know anymore if she's still here or no Okay, there's an exit. Another locked door. Let's take a peek through. Okay, let's. Uh huh. There's a key. It's the key I'm after. I can't reach it with my hands. With I wonder the... what I can invent to retrieve it. I guess we can use the stick. The stick is long enough to reach the key, but how will I grab it? Hmm. Oh, that's that's a good point. Okay, maybe I, we can use. Uh... I'm content with the length of this stick. Can we? Can we match Nothing this? Happens. Nothing happens. Okay, you can. Another locked door. Let's see if there's Take something. There's nothing. Maybe I can. So the. It's the key I'm after. I can't. Okay. Okay. I get it. Very well. Okay. I'll search for more stuff in here. Okay, you need to check this. You look so lonely, my friend. I'll call you Eva. Okay, uh, we are continuing our quest to name all the things uh, A lot of in the um, in the castle. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, I found something. There's a magnet I here. Love magnets. Yeah. Uh, maybe now that you have made of uh, iron, maybe it could be more helpful to you if <laughs> that doesn't get stuck on you and now we are able to get the key I wonder if the her husband is still alive another locked door okay here's the magnet this is brilliant but how will I get the magnet out there and then back again I need longer arms I okay then uh, stick this Attach the magnet to the end of the stick. Nice. I didn't Another think of that. Door. I didn't think of that. Let's hope this works. Uh, what should uh -huh. I? Just oh, okay. as planned. Yep. I got the basement key. Yay! Let's see what's. Uh, let's unlock this door. Yeah, let's see what's uh, beyond the door. Let's unlock this door. Oh, okay, I have to do that to myself. Okay. Dun dun. Aha. Uh -huh. Another journal page. Another parcel. Nothing happened. Okay, I guess. Uh, A couple of cogwheels on the floor. They must have fallen off the mechanism when the door slammed shut. I wonder if I can put. Yeah, I guess you will. Okay, so next puzzle, we will see that in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of the game. It's uh, pretty nice, uh, a bit creepy, but uh, it's the creepy that makes you interested in seeing what's going on in here, how it will, be, how it will finish. And um, I think I will make another episode of this. Uh, maybe tell me in the comments if you want to see more. And uh, we will see each other in the next episode of this series on uh, you know, another video I will make. And remember guys, if you can't sleep, the clowns are gonna eat the... Good night.